What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Sam, where are you? Oh, she's over there. Alright, so today's gonna be a pretty much can't a miss me. Yeah. It's gonna be a continuation of working on this area. So you guys saw in the last okay. video, if you watched it, which you should have, and if you haven't, you should probably pause this video and go back one video. That way you know what we're up to. So uh, anyway, today we're gonna be taking out this block and disconnecting this cable right here which is powering this light that lights up this whole thing so that's what we're gonna get to right now i'm gonna pull my drill out it's just a couple bolts here and a couple bolts over there and then like i showed you guys the one plug and then we'll wipe this all down and we should have a good amount of storage for you know whatever just little things so let me get to it guys officially everything is all pulled off I finally got these brackets off when I was originally taking them off a couple videos ago I didn't know that there was bolts back here holding it in because the, all this wood see all this wood there's like three layers of wood and it was blocking me from getting to that bolt but if you guys can see this wood you know you can see it's it's kind of water damaged it has water in it you know you can see it's been wet on the bottom and the palmetto bugs love stuff like this. So if you have stuff like that in your bus, either make sure it doesn't get wet or get rid of it. Once you see water leaking in from somewhere, immediately conquer it. Because if anything gets wet, that's just gonna bring the palmetto bugs in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm- I'm, I'm an exterminator, I know this thing. Yeah, Sam is a professional <laughs> exterminator, licensed by the state of nothing. <laughs> and by uh, yeah, by RAS. Okay, so. Here is the inside of the storage. Hopefully with this camera you can tell it's a pretty big storage area. It's a lot bigger now that I took this piece of wood out that was sitting right here and the light, there's an LED light and I didn't realize it but it had an on off switch so I could have turned it off but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so you got all that storage down there, all this storage and then all the storage down there. So. I'm gonna employ Sam to clean it out because she does a really good thorough job. She'll sanitize it and get rid of all the dead bug guts. By the way, that bug bomb, those things are mint. You should totally get one if you have any bug problems. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of dead bug bodies in there. Not nearly as many as there would have been if we hadn't have tried to vacuum it out. We should have moved this stuff out first and then vacuumed it, but it is what it is. We'll just wipe it up. It'll come up with a paper towel. But 
pretty happy with that. Now we got a lot of storage. Sam came up with a really good idea. So I'm embarrassed to show you guys this, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I work for a living, so <laughs> I have to carry work supplies with me. So these are clothes that we haven't folded yet. These are some work towels that I use sometimes. And then I have caulking and um, my whole bag with all my, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff, cleaners, sealant. So all this stuff is gonna go right in there. But the book bag obviously isn't gonna go in there. The hose. Yeah. But the, the hose, the caulking, all the caulking, all that stuff. We're gonna get rid of this, and the and the towels are gonna go up there. I can't wait for the towels to go up there. Yeah. Because this thing is like literally like falling yeah. apart. Yeah, it just like lost its, its integrity. And it's so ugly that I just want to be able to just have the ladder, the ceiling, and the brushes, and that's it. Just there. Yeah. And the book bag. So that'll course. be really nice. We're gonna clean this area up eventually, guys. Don't mind my mess because we've been moving everything around today. But here's the bed. We are gonna lift. We're going to get, I don't know if I'm going to do it or if I'm going to have somebody else do it, but we want to make a wood platform, lift this bed up a little bit, probably like two foot mark. That way I could put any paint or sealer under there along with a whole bunch of stuff and free up this whole area and even maybe some of this area. And uh, that way eventually we, we can get a couch. Fit, um, we can't fit the kayak under the bed if it's in the bag. Yeah, it's too, uh, it's too so fat. It'd be nice to lift up the bed and be able to slide the kayak under there, too. Again, guys, you know, we're not in a $30,000 conversion. This is something we're doing little by little over time. So, um, you know, we're, we're just figuring spots out for everything still, even though we've only been in the bus about a month and a half. So, and it was kind of like a thing where we had to jump right into it because the van that we had was falling apart if you've been following us for a while. Yeah. So, if you already know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really happy about that. That's awesome. So let me get this place cleaned up a little bit and organized and then I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, we made some headway on a couple different things. So we got that, that busted up thing that I showed you guys. Um, that's out of the way now. I just got to figure out what to do with this bag that has all like my paintbrushes and uh, tape and stuff like that. This is the original wiring. I don't know if you guys remember me showing this to you way back, but it actually went to those underneath the seats that were here originally um, to light like this middle section. So I still have to cut that off. I got uh, wire caps and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and trim it and then I'll cap it off and that'll be done. There's no power going to it. Plus I, the only way to turn it on is to hit a switch. So I'm not really too worried about getting electrocuted. Also, uh, we went ahead and we cleaned out this area. Uh, Sam and I both sprayed it down and everything, and we just threw it stuff in there real quick. I just got some of my towels, my caulking gone, and first aid stuff, and some other caulking stuff. So that's all in there, and that's out of the way, and that's the stuff that was over in that section that I just showed you. Also, if we take a little walk outside, sorry about the generator, gotta keep cool though. Uh, I re-caulked around this whole thing, okay? I gotta, I tried pushing these corner pieces back in that you see are loose, they're hanging, and they don't wanna stay, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. But I did, I caulked everything. I went all the way around it. Um, I caulked in here, actually, which I noticed. I was getting water coming in here. When the rain whips on the side, it goes in here, drips down to the floor level in the van uh, and then it comes out so and I saw it was all cracked and stuff so it was definitely water getting in from there so I did that uh, I did the trim going all down on both sides of this and on the other side so there should be no more water getting in this van um, I do have to take a look at the back I never looked at that but I wanted to just mainly focus on the front for now since I know water was getting in there and plus since I just cleaned that whole inside cap out I wanted to make sure water wasn't getting in there anymore. So, looks a little iffy for the clouds. Sam's laying down, she's a little tired. That's why I'm here, I'm sorry. I know some of you uh, rather see Sam's face than mine, but that's okay. <laughs> but uh, we just put the bike back on and we are all set to go whenever we go. We're just gonna hang out here. Look at the scenery. Isn't this beautiful? And there's nobody here. There's one car here. But I mean, that's beautiful. You can rent kayaks here and uh, you can go out at night and do the bioluminous tours, which is awesome. If you guys uh, haven't heard of that, you should check it out. I'll post a picture of kind of what it looks like, but to see it in person is pretty amazing. One day we'll go on a tour and I'll bring you guys with us. But uh, 
I'm gonna close this video out. I just wanted to show you guys what we've been up to. Um, pretty happy that we got everything situated with the bus today, cleaned her out, got that front section done. I'm pretty excited to get that bed lifted so that I can get the rest of that stuff and kind of put it under there and really open this place up. Then we get a couch in here eventually. You know, it's just a little money game. So little by little, uh, we want to get everything done. So without further ado, I'll let you guys go. Hope you guys are all having a great night. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.